Hey everyone, this is Ludo the Great. We've got another video here for you. Uh, today we're going to talk about MIRC or Merck or whatever you want to call it. Um, just going to give you the basics on it. We're going to run you through on how to open it up, uh, enter your information, and get connected to the chat room and start chatting right away. Uh, so this shouldn't take too long. It's going to be a quick little process. First thing, obviously, you got to do uh, install it. Before you got to do that, or before you do that, you got to download it. MIRC.com. Download MIRC. Run the installer. It's pretty basic. If you don't know how to do it, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. So after you get it installed, you're going to open it up. You're going to get something that looks a lot like this. MIRCs. It's a free program to download. Uh, they do want you to register it after 30 days. If you don't register it, what's going to happen is this continue button is going to be grayed out for about 30 seconds before you can click into it and do anything with the program. Uh, it's only 20 bucks though, so if, if you like it, uh, it's, it's an essential part of my daily routine. So I, I've spent the 20 bucks. Uh, I don't have it obviously running at this time for purposes, for these, for the video purposes. Um, but if you like the program, definitely go and spend the 20 bucks to buy it. It's going to be good for all the updates in the future, so well worth the 20 bucks. Uh, once you open it up though, you're going to get this. Go ahead and click continue. And you got a new window that pops up. Pretty self-explanatory, full name, email address, nickname, alternative. Uh, so we'll put our full name. You don't have to put your full name. I'm just going to put Ludo. Uh, some networks won't let you connect if you use uppercase letters. Some won't let you connect if you use more than eight characters. Uh, so I'm going to go with something easy and short. Lowercase L, U, D, O. Simple as that. Email address, Ludo the Great. Gmail, Nick, Ludo, uh, great. Alternative, Ludo, underscore. All the alternative is, is if somebody's using the original nickname, so if, if somebody else was using Ludo the Great, it would pick the next one with the underscore at the end. Uh, you can register your nickname. It, it, the way of registering is a bit different per server, so... Uh, we'll get into that in a different screencast, not right now. Uh, the next thing we're going to have to do, obviously, IRC works by connecting to servers. The servers host the channels or the chat rooms. So we're going to go ahead and connect to a server. Uh, right here in the options, you'll see servers. And here you have a whole big list of servers, each one of these containing a whole big list of channels. So you have many, many options out there when it comes to IRC. And this isn't even, this is like the service. You're, you're, there's so many more networks out than what you're seeing right here right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect to Undernet. Just for the video purposes. Uh, so you double click into it. I have problems connecting to the US servers even though I am in the US. So I'm going to click into a random European server. So we'll click it. We'll bring you back to this front screen. Uh, from here, we click connect. You hear a bunch of beeping and scrolling text, and you know it's going to take a few seconds. Sometimes it takes longer, uh, but you're going to connect. Once you're connected, you're going to see this little MIRC favorites. This is going to list a whole bunch of channels that you can enter. Uh, you can choose one of these or you can enter your own. The video, we're going to join Digital Massacre. Just type in the name of it. You do, you are required to have the pound sign or the number sign. Um, MIRC will put it in there automatically if you don't put it in. Other IRC clients will not. Uh, at least I know the Linux version of XChat does not. You do have to manually put it in. But I put it in just for the hell of it. 
fuck it, it's gonna auto populate, auto -populate anyways, but you never know when you're gonna need it for sure or not, so just put it in there. Uh, after you enter the name, click join, and you're in your channel. You're in the channel you want to be talking in. It's as simple as that, really. I mean, obviously, right now at this point, there's no one else in this chat room with me. I just created this chat room. Um, if you want, if you knew the name of the chat room you're going into, let's close out of this for a second. Uh, like, MIRC help. They we'll say we're going to go and get some help. Um, Obviously, we don't have the MIRC favorite window up here anymore, so we can't. We don't have anywhere to type in the name of the channel we're going to enter. Real easy command: backslash j space MIRC help enter, and you're in the help channel. Mm -hmm. Little welcome message. It's as easy as that. It, it's a little intimidating, you know, at first. You, you've got all these buttons up here. You've got the windows popping up at you when you first first join or first open it. Um, basically, if you follow the steps that I just showed you, uh, you're going to get into the IRC and into your channel a lot faster and not have to worry about all the other settings and options. It's pretty much other than the, the fields that we entered in the server that we picked is pretty much ready to go. There's no, you know, connection settings or anything like that you're going to have to set. It's pretty much click and go. So, obviously you've probably noticed that I've fixed the audio problem, or at least I hope I've fixed the audio problem from the last video. So if, if you notice the difference, if you like this video, if this video was helpful, if you'd like to see more videos or have any ideas of what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future, uh, say you have another application that you'd like to recommend, have me review, or a uh, Photoshop tutorial you'd like me to do, uh, anything, any ideas you might have posted on the blog, digitalmassacre.net. Thanks for joining me.